Hi everyone, welcome to Cook Stacy Cook. Today I would like to show you my salt and pepper salmon recipe. I will show you how to pan fry the salmon to get a golden crispy crust. The salmon will come out savory, peppery, but not very spicy. It will be delicious. Let me show you how I make it. The first step is to season the salmon with some salt and white pepper powder. This helps to add some flavor into the salmon, so that when we bite into the salmon, the flavor is not just on the outside. Inside of the salmon will be flavorful too. Be sure to season on both sides. I recommend using skinless salmon here, because skinless salmon will give you a more uniform texture in the finished dish. After seasoning both sides, we will let the salmon sit for at least 15 minutes. While we wait for the salmon to finish seasoning, we will finely mince two cloves of garlic and chop up one green onion into small pieces. Also chop up some pepper into small pieces. If you are using hot peppers, I highly recommend you remove the seeds and the white membranes inside the pepper. Otherwise, the dish may come out too spicy. You can use red or green pepper. The reason we add the pepper is to give the dish a more appealing look and to add more depth to the peppery taste. Now that the salmon has been seasoning for 15 minutes, we will coat them with cornstarch. Generously coat all sides of the salmon with cornstarch and gently tap it to shake off any loose cornstarch. Now let the salmon sit for a few more minutes. This is to let the cornstarch incorporate with the moisture on the surface of the salmon. It helps to keep the cornstarch on the salmon while we are pan frying. After a few minutes, we are ready to pan fry the salmon. Add some oil to a pan over medium heat. When the oil is hot, put the salmon in the pan and let it pan fry for 2 to 3 minutes. Do not touch the salmon for at least the first 2 minutes. And don't shake the pan. Leave them undisturbed so a nice crust can form. After 2 minutes, you can check the color of the crust and decide if it needs more pan frying or you are ready to flip them over. When the bottom has a nice golden crust to it, you can flip them over and pan fry the other side. The steps are the same. Pan fry 2 minutes and then check to see if the crust is ready. If you are using thicker pieces of salmon like me, you may want to pan fry all four sides for a better result. After you get a good crust on the salmon, turn the heat up to medium high and pan fry each of the broad sides of the salmon for one more minute. This will help you get a more crispy crust. When you are done, remove the salmon from the pan. Before we move on to the next step, we need to get rid of the remaining oil in the pan and wipe the pan clean with a paper towel. Then add a small amount of oil to the pan. When the oil is hot, add the garlic and let it sizzle in the oil briefly. Then add the green onion and the pepper. Now quickly stir everything for about 10 seconds. Then add some white pepper powder, black pepper powder and salt to the pan. Turn off the heat at this time and quickly mix the seasoning evenly. Now put the salmon back in the pan and gently toss them with the seasoning. All it takes is a few quick toss and we are done. Arrange the salmon nicely in a plate and we are ready to serve. This salmon has a nice balance of salt and peppery flavor. The crust is crispy and it is very delicious. I hope you will give this dish a try. If you like our video today, please share with your friends and family. Let me know your thoughts about this recipe in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.